So now we're gonna mix the henna bee colors. So what I like to do is with my dappen dish, I like to flip it over because it has a little divot in here and you're not wasting product. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take number four just to show you consistency wise what we're looking for when we mix the henna. So first, you wanna pour it in the top. And depending on how much brow your client has is how much henna you're gonna use. You'll get used to figuring all that out. So now with the water, what I like to do is I like to get really hot water from the tap. So by the time I bring the water back, it's lukewarm and it's perfect. We don't want it to be too cold because we don't want it to um, be kind of crystally. We want it to all dissolve in there nicely. So I'm just gonna add a few drops of water and give it a good little mix. So if you're mixing two colors together, you wanna make sure you give this a good swirl for about 10 to 15 seconds. Get, make sure it's really consistent in color. So as you can see, it's all not really going anywhere. This would be too thick. We wanna add a little bit more water to this. Okay, so there would be the perfect consistency, I would say. Not too thick, not too runny, still gonna stay in place where we put it on the eyebrow. And now I'm just gonna show you quickly what it looks like when it's too runny. Because if it's too runny, we don't want it, it won't be able to stay where we want it to on the eyebrow. So this would be too runny. It's almost falling out of the dish. That's how you mix henna bee.